New day, new video. We are talking about glutathione. Let's get into it. Hello, beloved. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Giselle, your skincare bestie, helping you make safe, healthy, effective skincare and lifestyle choices. Today, we're talking about glutathione. What is glutathione? What is it used for? What is its significance in skincare? Which one should you choose and which one should you stay away from? First of all, what is glutathione? Glutathione is a naturally occurring antioxidant, a mega antioxidant produced by the body and plays a crucial role in various biological processes. Glutathione is vital for maintaining cellular health and protects the body against harmful chemicals called free radicals. It helps support the immune system, it helps the body fight off infections, and it is involved in various cellular processes in the body, protein synthesis, cell growth and death, and plays a major role in liver detoxification. So how does this help the skin? I know you heard about glutathione for skin glow. Some of you have been taking glutathione pills, you just know that somehow glutathione is going to help you glow it's going to help you shine you're trying to take it in pills you're trying to look for body lotions you're trying to even go the extra mile of injecting it into your body but how does glutathione work on the skin so glutathione is related to skin and skin pigmentation in that it mediates the production of melanin and melanin synthesis it inhibits tyrosinase activity. Tyrosinase is the enzyme that is responsible for producing pigment. Tyrosinase is a key enzyme in melanin synthesis. It is the enzyme responsible for producing melanin, which is the pigment that gives our skin an eye color. Glutathione also promotes conversion of eumelanin to fumelanin. There are two types of melanin, basically. We have eumelanin and fumelanin. Eumelanin is dark brown pigment and it is the kind of melanin we people of color have. Why fuel melanin is light red and it is the type of melanin Caucasians or white people have. So glutathione promotes conversion of the dark brown melanin to light red melanin. So that means it's going to lighten your skin. Glutathione is also an antioxidant, a very effective, it's a massive, major, master antioxidant. If you do not know what antioxidants are, you should check out my last video. I properly, thoroughly broke down antioxidants and everything that has to do with antioxidants, free radicals and stuff like that so check it out i'll link the video here the glutathione is that antioxidant it reduces oxidative stress it saves us free radicals in fact while we're at it since you're here let me break it down for you again our skin cells contain atom and this atom have electrons these electrons help the atom to be stable now if something happens and these atoms lose one electron they become unstable and they don't like being unstable the things that can cause an atom to lose an electron could be uv da uv damage uv rays it could be stress it could be pollution these are the things that destroy your skin cells by causing your atoms to lose an electron so when the atom loses an electron it becomes unstable and it cannot function so it goes to its neighbor atom and steals one of the electrons in a bit to balance itself and so when it steals one electron from the neighboring atom the neighboring atom becomes unstable and it goes to steal from the next electron from the next atom so this process there's just a chain of electron theft one atom stealing an electron from the other atom another atom stealing an electron from the other atom and this process is what we refer to as free radical damage the atoms stealing the electrons are called free radicals so when you have this chain of electron theft going on in your skin it is destroying your skin's dna it is breaking down your collagen it is destroying your elastin and it is affecting your skin your skin starts to sag you start looking dull hyperpigmentation is worse you're wrinkled you have fine lines and so antioxidants 
are really important because antioxidants come with extra electrons to donate to these atoms that have lost their electrons. So instead of the atom whose electron has been stolen to go and steal from another atom, the antioxidant donates an electron to that atom. The atom stabilizes itself without having to go and steal from another atom. That way, the chain of electron theft is safe, right? And your skin cells, your skin DNA is preserved. It is really important to have antioxidants in your routine, either by eating them or by applying them to your skin. So glutathione is a master antioxidant. It helps to protect your skin cells, protect your DNA from being damaged, thereby protecting your collagen and your elastin. And we all need it for the plum, youthful, healthy skin. Anyway, I digress. Let's get into the meat of this video. Glutathione in skincare. What should you use? Let's start with oral glutathione. I'm just going to be dishing out the facts. We are dealing with facts. We are dealing with research. We are dealing with concrete evidence. There are many studies that have demonstrated effectiveness and efficacy of oral glutathione in skin pigmentation. There's a study that showed a significant reduction in melanin synthesis in participants who took 500 milligrams of glutathione in a day. Another study showed that there was no significant decrease in hyperpigmentation in a set of participants who took the same 500 milligrams of glutathione a day. So we have studies that have proven 500 milligrams of glutathione taken daily reduce hyperpigmentation and there are other studies that show that it didn't do anything. So should you take oral glutathione? Yes, but the variations in these studies, mind you, could be as a result of different things, maybe different ge uh, geographical locations, the demographics were different, um, genetics, environmental, lifestyle factors could be different. So somebody can take 500 milligrams of glutathione for a period of three to six months and see significant lightening of the skin while another person takes the same dose over the same period and sees little to no effects so it's never really about what you're applying it's never really about what you're taking it's about where you live how you live what you're eating what you're interacting with all of these things play a role in the results you're going to see when taking a particular treatment when taking a particular drug or when following a particular routine on to topical glutathione what do the studies say topical glutathione that is creams lotions serums has demonstrated effectiveness in treating or reducing hyperpigmentation we have a study showing significant reduction in hyperpigmentation in group of participants who apply glutathione twice daily for a period of 10 weeks and not only did they see improvements in their hyperpigmentation they saw improvement in texture their skin was firmer their skin was softer their skin was more supple you know where we're going topical glutathione is the it so applying glutathione to your skin will not only help to reduce hyperpigmentation it's going to improve your overall skin tone it's going to improve moisture levels your skin will be overall plumber it'll be softer it'll be more youthful it'll be more uniform and all the things that we like to hear there is also evidence and research that supports the use of 0.5% glutathione for lightening the skin. So even if your lotion does not contain up to 2%, as little as 0.5% of glutathione applied daily for a period of 2, 3, 4 months is definitely going to brighten and lighten hyperpigmentation. There is also a study that showed that microneedling enhances the effectiveness of topical glutathione. So if you're not microneedling yet, if you've never had needles poked into your skin, I'm telling you that you, you haven't seen skin glow. You think your skin is glowing, you think your skin is plum. Try microneedling. Poke your skin with needles and see how plum, hydrated, smooth, and youthful your skin will look if you follow me on instagram i've talked extensively about microneedling about its benefits about how microneedling changed my skin if you knew me if you follow me on instagram you'll know my story you know what, what my skin looked like to one two years ago and what it looked like now microneedling changes the game so if you're trying to deal with hyperpigmentation please 
do not depend only on topical products. Try microneedling. And I'm so glad that we even have studies supporting the fact that microneedling really works. Topical products are good. They will help. But using procedures, you know, microneedling, pills and the likes together with topical products, the results are out of this world. You should definitely try microneedling. And if you don't have access to an esthetician who can do the procedure on you, you can start with at-home microneedling tools. I use Banish. It is superb. Anyway, this is what the studies say. So if you're microneedling and you're using a topical glutathione, your results are going to be amazing. And now on to IV glutathione. Please don't go there. Don't think about it. Don't say it. Don't try it. It is a no-go zone. Safety concerns, no guarantee for lasting results. The studies show that people who even got some results reverted to default setting after six months. Of course, IV glutathione results in higher plasma concentrations of glutathione more than oral and topical glutathione, but the risk outweighs the benefits. Plus, there's no lasting results. And I know this thing costs a lot of money. I see people spending hundreds of thousands of CFA francs to get IV glutathione. The results don't last. And you're putting yourself at risk of fatal allergic reactions, hepatotoxicity, that is liver toxicity, and even death. I know of a story of someone who took IV glutathione and died. So don't try it. Do not try taking IV glutathione. Coupled with the fact that there are no standardized protocols or clinical studies to support IV glutathione for skin lightening, it's a no-go zone. Don't do it. So what's the conclusion of the matter? Glutathione is an effective skin lightener. Topical glutathione will give you the best outcome. It will give you the best results. Take, you can apply body lotions containing glutathione of at least 0.5% concentration, right up to 2% concentration. And for better results, you can combine topical glutathione with oral glutathione. Just because oral glutathione is great, but the results are not lasting. Plus, we, you don't even know how long you're supposed to take it for. You will not take it forever. Even if it's giving you the results you want to see, you, you at some point you have to discontinue. And the chances of you reverting to default, or the chances of you going back to the hyperpigmentation you had is high. So take oral glutathione, 500 milligrams per day for a short period of time and combine with topical glutathione for effective optimal results and you should add microneedling add microneedling to your hyperpigmentation regimen you can do it at home once a week i use banish like i mentioned if you're going to do it at the esthetician's office once in three months together with oral supplements and together with oral glutathione supplements and topical glutathione you're going to see really good results with skin brightening and skin lightening again if you're going to take oral glutathione it's really important for you to seek professional advice that's just because so you, you know so you know how long you should be taking it when you should discontinue there comes a point in your life where you will not, you will no longer be the best person to take glutathione, maybe because of other drugs that you are taking, or at some point in your life, maybe pregnancy, breastfeeding. There is always going to be a time when you will, you have a contraindication or something. So it's always good to follow professional advice. But glutathione orally taken doesn't only benefit your skin it benefits your liver it benefits your cells so it's a supplement you should consider but again seek professional advice especially because you wouldn't know how long you should be taking it and as for IV glutathione it's a no-no do not do it don't try it stick with oral and topical glutathione for hyperpigmentation. Of course, I will not end this video without giving you some glutathione lotion recommendations. 
I got you. Vaseline Glutar Higher Body Lotion. This is really lovely body lotion, very lightweight. I don't remember how it smells. I used that thing like last year, but it, I don't know. I don't remember but it's very lightweight it's quite moisturizing not very moisturizing for dry skin but it is a lotion that will give you really good brightening results another one you can try is the APLB glutathione niacinamide body lotion I love this one because it's really big and it's also very moisturizing great if you're trying to maintain your skin tone enhance your skin tone just you know get it to pop a little you know what i'm saying the bright skin cosmetics brightening lotion is another good one this one contains glutathione it also has vitamin c it has arbutane and it's a really well-rounded body lotion for hyperpigmentation and skin brightening so we've come to the end of this video i hope you found it helpful and i'll see you in my next one